Amalek HaMashiach. Hi, and today we're going to speak about something very, 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 very crazy. And we're going to start, and of course, our ideas of life come from the Hasidic sources, the Kabbalah, the secrets of the Torah. And let's not waste time and get straight to it. Friedrich Rebbe says in Kintresim Aleph, those blue books, yes, those very blue books. I don't know yet, you know about the blue books? Blue books are the Friedrich Rebbe's Farin, the Friedrich Rebbe's Chassidus. And just like you have Malukot, you have Ma'amorim Malukot of the Rebbe, that you have groups of Ma'amorim that are very, very powerful Ma'amorim that are recommended to learn. Same thing, you also have Kuntresim of the Friedrich Rebbe. Gathered Ma'amorim that are very, very powerful. And the first Sefer, right away in the beginning, you already have a Mimer. It's about, uh, it starts off speaking about and then we speak about Avram Avinu. And now we're going to start. This is where things get very, very interesting. And it's not Stam that I'm, you know, usually we're talking about Mashiach all day. And we talk, have to talk about Mashiach all day. And in, when you're dealing with uh, talking about Mashiach, sometimes you have to be pale on other people. You have, to, you have to speak to other people. And sometimes you don't understand what's wrong with the other guy. You don't understand why he's not behaving why he doesn't understand the concept of Mashiach. And that's why this mimer of the Friedrich Rebbe gives us a little tip onto the human nature and to the way sometimes people behave. And of course, if we ever see something like this in us, we have to right away fix it up very, very quickly and we have to get better, we have to change our meters. Now we're gonna start right away and explain different nature of a person. Okay, here we go. Avram Avinu, Avram, our father, the first Jew. Besides this, that he gave out his money and he spread out his money like there's no tomorrow, just in order to do kindness, goodness, and kindness to his fellow man. That he would give, he would lend people money, and he would put out tons and tons of tons of funds, just in order to welcome guests and to give guests service. Commercial calls it like it says in the Bible, in the Torah. He went in his travels. And Rashi says, and on the way back, on the way back he would collect the money that he lent people. He would give out money in order that people should be able to do chesed and tzedakah. Chazal tell us, that a person's amount of money he's going to have, his Mizaynas, is already set from him from Rosh Hashanah. Besides things that he's going to buy on Shabbos, Yom Tov, and for learning Torah. If you're holding up Torah, if you're going to buy stuff for Shabbos, if you're going to buy stuff for Yom Tov, Hashem says, what does Hashem say? These things do not have a limit. If you add, Hashem adds to you. He borrows for on my cheshben and I pay back. This was the charity, the tzedakah that Avram Avinu gave. Last is tzedakah. This was just the tzedakah money-wise. Yeah. This was all just his money. This is what he did with his money. He was... His body himself, he, he physically went out to help people. And not only this, but he would go out of his way and try his hardest and he would be matriach himself. He would sweat and, and, and work hard just in order to help other people with his body. Like it says, in the Holy Torah, he ran towards them. He saw the angels from far. He didn't know they were angels. He thought they were regular guests at that time. He saw them from far, he ran towards them. And when he went to Shashecht, when he went to slaughter the, the animals for them, to feed them, to, to give them meat, it says he ran to, to go get the meat. And the Mepharshim tells us that he, he had to shecht about 40 cows till he got to one kosher one, meaning 40 of them weren't even kosher. It means he wasted 40 cows just for this malach. What does the Ramban tell us? 
Roiv Cheshke Bene Divus. How much he gave? In Levad, the Hemi Dat Mavis Akon and Lispal and Shetim Vamira. Besides this, he also put himself in danger to Daven for the Daven for the people of Sdem and Amira. Some people say, why did he put himself in danger? The answer is because if you're dealing with a Russia, so the Hashem says, what are you davening for this Russia? He deserves getting punished. What are you davening for him for? So the Avram Avinu didn't care that they were Rashaim. Avram Avinu davened for them. He wanted the best for them as well. So so maybe maybe you could say that that's what it was the the the, the, the sakana that he was putting himself in, the danger to daven for them because he's including himself in them, Sash, but he still did it anyway because he wanted to save them. And this is where the Friedrich Rebbe gets down to what's the people of Stem and Amira, what the, what the type of people that they were. It says that the Anshe Sdoim, the people of Stem, Roim, they are bad, Vechatoim, and they do sins, Lavayet Hashem Me'oid, very much. Ram Razal, the Razal said, tell us, Sanhedrin Koftes Hamadal, Om Rabbi Yehuda, Roim Begufim Vechatoim Bemanumanum. They are bad, Rabbi Yehuda tells us, they were bad in their bodies and they were, they did sins with their money. With Masni Satana and the Mishnah it says, they were bad with their money and they were they had sins with their bodies. We are Shalmi Sanhed and Pedicure Halakha Gimel. And your Shalmi it says over there, watch how you roam Elu Le Elu. They were even bad to themselves. Meaning one to the another, one one to his neighbor, he was bad. We see just like we see in the nature of people. That there are some people that they have in them a complete bad in them. Like killing and spilling blood, just like the wild animals of the mamish. Exactly like wild animals. Just like a wild animal, that his whole Indian, his whole point in life is to rip apart and, and, and destroy and to spill blood of the other of the other one. This that it rips and, and, and the blood spills and in a murderous way, this itself is its highest. This is what gives it a life and energy. And when it gets mad and it, this is the Yeshna Balichai and there are such animals. They just they just rip apart and, and, and eat because they're hungry. Imagine a person doesn't eat for four days. They go, they, they bring him food, so he's gonna he's gonna gobble up the food very fast. And maybe it's gonna look like he's a little bit wild, but it's not because he has an Indian tooth, it's because he's starving, he didn't eat. So Friedrich Rebbe says some animals they, they, they fresh their food. But it's not because they, they, they had they're doing it on a vicious in a vicious way on purpose. It's just that's the they're, that's the way they eat. Yeah. In second. This that they're eating and ripping apart is just because they have a big desire to eat. Just like we have by people, they're, they're very pleasure. They they they're into their they into their food and their stuff. This that they're eating is with a big will and a big desire and they enjoy it a lot. Ketive abale taive, abale ano. And the, like the nature of those people who, who, who are, are, are enjoy life. But sleeking in good essence, that they, 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 they understand very good in food. Like, uh, just gonna give an example, there was some clown that told me, uh, you know, how to eat a Danish, you, you take a piece and then you chew it halfway and then take a cup of milk and you mix it in your mouth and the whole, Hack in China, just eat. You know, if you're hungry, you eat. That's it. It's not an activity, it's not arts and crafts. You know, you just have to eat because Hashem, you know, you need to have power to serve Hashem and to do goodness and kindness. There's no reason to make it into a whole ceremony. But, but here, the Friedrich Rebbe says that there are such people that they that they live, they, they, they're into the food. This is like Mamish, uh, you know, Lahavdil, to make a separation, like a, like real, like an animal. Like a, like a cow or a, or, a, or a lion. She says, oh, the whole point of the animals to, to eat and to drink. And... But when we're talking about animals, 
that they that they're that they're wild animals that they rip apart other animals the the, the murderous animals the yeah. They're not just trying to eat. They don't have an Indian just to eat. This that they rip apart their, the other one and they spill its blood and they rip their meat into pieces. This is what gives them their highest and their big enjoyment. This is when the Friedrich Rebbe really gets down to business. He says, same too, there's also in the nature of people. They have complete bad. Like a person that his nature is to be bad to the other people. And the people call him in the world a schlechter mensch, a bad person. He's a schlechter mensch, he's by him, he's doch. A bad person has bad in him in actuality. We see it with our eyes. How, what do we see? As a schlechter mensch, his altswasser tut is mit a schlechtkeit. Everything he does is with a bad taste to it. Er sucht altswasser kann no dem anderen machen nicht gut. He's looking always to ruin the other guy's life and to make it not good for the other person. Engun schlecht, to make pain and bad. What did we say till now? Avram Avinu was a very good person. He gave and he tried. He gave money and he gave, and he tried with his body, himself, and he's put himself in danger in order to daven for other people. And we explained that there are the natures of people that they're bad and the nature and their 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 uh, they're they're not kind. The opposite of kind. Just like wild animals that like to spill blood and rip the other body of the part of the other one. Okay, the Friedrich Rebbe continues. If you think we finished, we're not finished. In the middle even something that's good, he makes it bad. This bad person, even if he tries to do something good, he ruins it. He ruins the good thing that he does. Why? Because he's yeah, he can't do anything properly. What's his problem? Not good. Uh, because he's such because he's such a he's so into his bad things. He knows this, but if I'm Kalu, he does it in such a way. That the good itself turns into bad. Not only the good that you were trying to do to begin with doesn't actually come out in actuality. Meaning he tried to do something good. Not only that that good is not going to happen, that was supposed to come out. The good itself becomes bad. Just like when we see Teichacha. What's Teichacha? When you rebuke your friend, you tell him, Oh, come on, Mendel, you got to be better, you know? So this itself is a good thing. Why is it a good thing? Just like we know that you know, Teichacha is a good thing, like we see, Vadugma, like we see, but the, that, that Teichacha is a good thing from the, from the love of a friend to his neighbor, you know, I, I care about you, so I want to tell you I, that you should correct your ways. The father always is Mechiach his son, because because he loves his son, and that's the same thing as real friends. They care, but it's because of they they care about each other. Dafka someone that you care about him, you 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 him, you tell you you rebuke him because you want him to be, you want the best for him. Someone that's more closer to you, then the more closer he is, the more you care about how he behaves and that you you want the best for him. But the way you do it is in the way that's according to Torah. You don't embarrass him in public. You don't tell him, yeah. You don't tell him off in front of his friends. Shazel Isar Mamish was just as Mamish and Isar. You don't try to make him painful. You don't if you see he's not he's not he's not happy when you're saying it to him, you quiet down. In the Oidza is Kibarabim Mahabik Bishusai. When he's in public, you say only good things about him. But don't know if you look at and you judge him favorably. 
And you show the right ways and the good ways and the nice things that he does. But only between you and him, when no one else is around. You talk to him and you, you tell him that you got to straighten out your ways. You really mean what you're saying to him. Until you direct him on the, on the right way. And you show him how to change the fish of Abemis because you really love him. But someone that his nature is bad, in say this is where he also expresses his bad. This is like we see in actuality. Someone that's a schlechter mensch, a person that someone that his nature is bad. When he rebukes his friend, how does he do it? Alayza Dabur Loy on something bad that he did. Shaosa is it Dibur Loy Tev Shidibur, something that he didn't say properly. He tells him off in front of everyone and, and is screaming and in a fighting way. He, he, he makes his face turn white and he and he makes and he disgusts him and he makes fun of him and he comes in a mad way and in a mean and in a murderous way. And he pours the blood of his friend like water. It's not that he doesn't realize what he's doing. He doesn't, it's not that he doesn't feel the pain of his friend. That if he hears all the bad things about it. And it's not that he doesn't understand how deep and how uh, hurt and how, uh, uh, you know, deep into his heart, friend's heart this is going into his, yeah. He knows that every single word that he's going to say is like a stab in the heart, Mamish. And as if he's killing him right now. He understands very, very well exactly what he's doing to his friend. And he sees his blood spill. Because he's a bad person. Because he's a very schlechter mensch, a very bad man. Not only he doesn't care about what's going on with the other person, that he doesn't touch him at all. This that it said his friend is suffering, he doesn't care. And not only that, even more. This itself that he sees how his friend is is, is, is like shaking, like a person right before he dies, he's just bubbling, yeah? And he sees how his friend is all shake, shooken up because of the pain and the yusurim and the, and, and, and the, that he's doing to him. This itself gives him the nachas and the pleasure. This is the same thing with everything he does with the people. And we're sure that the people that serve him and do things favors for him. He, he makes them work extra, extremely hard. And any single person and every single thing, he just looks for the problems and the not good things. And all day and, and, and all night as well. <laughs> He will not rest and he will not be quiet from his from his uh, big fire in his heart of his bad heart to make life bad for other people to make life miserable for other people and even more than this the, the Friedrich Rebbe continues oh, Zion. Basically, even his family members and his friends even though he really cares for them and he feels for them he tries his best to ruin everything for them but Talmud pun of Zoyamah always his face is mad when he's all in all in a need to fridden he's never happy and from Kenzach is a need to fridden for nothing is he happy and Vimitut and he always finds a problem in what the other guy is saying and what the other guy what in the other person who muddly tightens his face he's always demanding more and he's full of uh, complaints he always has to be right and the other person is always wrong 
doesn't matter what it's, he's always right his friends always wrong and his friend is always it's his fault I feel as Anche Besa even his family Machter Engun Schlechti makes life hard for them er find they need er find he doesn't them live in Bepalami, she doesn't let them breathe and actually and 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 even things that they need he makes it as if it's extra in his eyes. But Gamasa even the real things that they push it they, they, they cannot live without he gives it very very carefully and, and very very like a miser. And he gives it exactly, exactly. And then he also, not only that, that he only gave them three and a half potato chips because that's exactly how much they need. But not only that, after that, he also goes around and says, oh, yeah, they're taking all my stuff. They don't, they don't have a, they don't, they're not embarrassed that they're taking all my stuff. The fish ain't sorry, gamba amata said, because his eye is so narrow, even that, that tiny little bit that he's giving them, he's already getting lost. And he sucks their blood like a mosquito. And anything that happens, even the smallest, lightest thing, he goes out to fight with them and to embarrass them. And if they actually made a mistake, Oh, that his family made a mistake. He makes the biggest deal out of the tiniest little thing. And he yents and talks and dreta cop about it. They push a ruin to everything. They're making him huge losses. And he push it, spills their blood. And if they went against his will, his holy will, Oi, oz you sky speaks of be moid be bein matzor leruko akosha. Then he completely loses it all. He gets mad and he lo and 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 he, and he uh, overboils. And there's nothing that can hold his 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 his, his wicked his his hard spirit. And he opens his mouth to curse the the living daylights out of them. And he will go out and his and his and his anger will boil in him like a wild animal, like a bad animal, in in anger and in a murderous way to hit them and to do them anything that he can possibly do to them, like someone that lost his mind. Mamish. God forbid. The Khosa who the fish who is rabbits, and this is because he's a wicked man in his etzim. The chayusei huma shemeitzer umiriel is losing, and his whole life is chayusus from this that he makes the other person miserable. Ados was er mach dem anderen schlecht und nicht gut. Is das is ein leben chayus? His whole life source is from making the other guy miserable. That's where he gets his life from. Just like we see Bimukhash, that there are some people, we see it we see it with our eyes every day. And some people that it's because of their bad nature, when they see that there are people that, that fall and, 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 and get hurt and with their money, or even with their body, they, they enjoy it. When they see a fight between two people, and and they and they and they, and they, so then they so then they enjoy it as well. And if one person will hurt the other person in any way, they're happy about this. Cal call as if they found the biggest treasure in the world. <coughs> It's because of their bad nature. Yogil Vismach Mibayit Betakalos Khaveri, he'll rejoice and dance, and he'll be so happy when his friend will will will, will fall. Will the Hebech and the other way around as well? Kasher Yisale Khaveri Beizer Eishari Kavit. And the other thing is also true. When he sees his friend succeed, he can't stand it. He, he's going to kill himself. He can't stand it. If his friend's going to have a wealth or a special honor or he's going to be matzliach in something, is he going to be successful in something, he's going to have a blessing in, in his business or in his children, he, he can't stand it. How could my friend have a good life? He becomes this... Uh, it hurts him. As is need, need good from them. When as far, far distant, far 
Vos Yenim is good. And he can't stand it. Why is the other person enjoying life? When he speaks about it to all of his friends. And he always tries to ruin the other person's in, in good life. And he will become sad about this. If it doesn't do him well, it doesn't sit well. It's called a narrow eye. The inner rabbi shalacherim, and his eye is bad in, in others. And the whole day he's thinking, how can I ruin the other guy's life? And finally, when he ruins his life, even if he can do it in a good way officially, again, like we said, anything that he does good is also bad. But if, even if he does it in a good way, when he finally ruins yeah, his friend's life, uh, he enjoys it. This is all because of his bad nature. Sayyim Betoyev, the Friedrich Rebbe started off the mimer speaking about Avram Avinu doing kindness. The Friedrich Rebbe doesn't want to end off on a sour note. The Friedrich Rebbe ends off the mimer and he says we will end off with good. The mitzvah is the chosen v'kala, the mitzvah of of him is sameach, the chosen and kala. Yikuim ashikos of rei banim lefanecho shalom al Yisrael, and it should be the will of Hashem that we should be zoyche to see our children and our children's children. Have pe live peacefully, and they should not be bad, and they should not be negative, and they should love each other, and they should they, they should do kindness like Avraham Avinu, and not like the people of Shalom Shalom Yisrael, peace upon all the Jewish people, not only us, but every single Jew should never have such problems. And you should and, and, and of course, Friedrich Rebbe, this is Chassidus, and this is what the Friedrich Rebbe finishes off with, and and of course, the Friedrich Rebbe is not telling this to us in order to inform somebody about his life. Friedrich Rebbe, first of all, wants us to know the problem. Like we know, if you know the problem, you already have the half of the solution. If someone's ready to admit and to understand his problem, that's already half the solution. So Friedrich Rebbe is telling this to us that if someone has such a problem, he should know, first of all, that he has a problem. And he shouldn't convince himself that he doesn't have the problem. He should know that he has a problem and he should work on it as if he's the only one in the world that has the problem. He shouldn't say, well, uh, everybody's like this. No, you're the only one in the world that's like this. Number one. And number two, he should work on it. He should hold himself in when it comes to these things. And he should see to it that he changes himself and he should be bitter about it to himself. How can it be that I'm such a wild animal? How could it be? And when he eats, he should take it easy. And when he sees his friend, he should shut his mouth. He should think twice before he does things. Now, I write to the tzaddikim that they, they wouldn't blink their eye without knowing why they're doing it. Everything was with a cheshbon. Everything's with an, with an order. You don't just do things down. Why am I eating now? Do I need to eat? Instead of thinking about how tasty the food is and how this the food is and how that the food is, do I need to eat now? Am I hungry? And if I'm hungry, do I need to do something now? I go to sleep, I can go to sleep. But why should I need to eat now? What am I doing now? I'm going to daven, I'm going to pray, I'm going to learn, I'm going to learn Torah. Oh, I, I'm going to do kindness, I'm going to do a good deed. I need power to do the good deed, I need to eat. That's why I'm going to go eat. And does it make, now, am I going, does it make a difference what the food is? Do I have to be like an animal? That I'm, oh, this is such a good food. Hey, yo, 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 what happened? A person that that, 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 that gets all over, over excited about, you're allowed to enjoy life, but if you get over excited about it, you make your animal soul 10 times stronger. And what happens when your animal soul is 10 times stronger, we see. And there's a wild animals, and there's a, and we're not animals, we're people. We're supposed to be a little higher. It says a person can go lower than the lowliest animal, but he can also climb higher than the highest angel. And obviously, without goes without saying, that we have to strive to be higher than the highest angel. And of course, we know that, you know, we, not, we might not ever get there, and, and you know, but we have to work slowly, and we have to know that goodness and kindness is the point. And how could you do good, and how could you be kind, and how could you think logically if you don't have a straightforward approach? And now connecting this back to what we started off with, with Mashiach, sometimes, a person's talking to someone about Mashiach and, and he's talking to him logic, he's explaining him what the Rebbe says and the person's answering him baloney, the person's answering him other things and he doesn't understand why and he says, why do you have to wear this pin, Mashiach pin? and why do you have to wear another one on your hat? and why do you have to do this and why do you have to do that? it's not because he wants to talk and know it's because he's jealous, he, he sees someone else successful, he sees someone happy, he sees someone else succeeding in life, he sees someone content with his life. The Rebbe says that Mashiach is coming, we have to spread goodness and kindness, and not, there can't be a bigger pleasure for a Jew than this. And this person can't stand it that the other person is enjoying life. So, that, so, he's not, so don't be upset that he's asking questions and you don't know what to answer and you don't know how to get to him. 
It's not a problem of how to get to him. The guy is not working properly. He has to work on his animal soul. And you can tell it to him. You can tell him that the Friedi Kerebe, uh, 50 years ago already, had pills for him. And the pills are called a Maimar Chassidus on page 48 on the in Kuntresim Aleph. And you can go check it up in the blue books. You can find them in 770. You can find them in any major place. And his friends should go check them up. This is his medicine. He should know and he should learn this and he should cry about it. He should like a chesh ben before he goes to sleep. What am I worth? What am I doing? Am I ruining everything or am I helping the world? Am I good for the economy? In a spiritual way, in a physical way. Chaim Chaim, we should be zeichet to the Gula Mitzvah Hashlemo. And I found this very, very uh, 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 inspiring to read this, not because, because simply because I, I dealt with people that are like this in, in a very drastic way. I was in yeshiva and I met people there and, and it was very hard to get, a, to, get a, to, get, to get going with these people. And when I read this, I said, wow, I have to show them this. And, and most of them were very, very honest and they, and they, and they said, you know what, Yossi, you're right. Uh, you know, we got to work on ourselves and we can't, we can't be annoying anymore and we can't hit you every time we see you just because we have a, you know, because you're, you're doing okay. We can't ruin every time everything's going okay with you. So. So uh, they took it in a very good way, and, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that if I took it in a good way, I'm sure it could help other people in life. And of course, we should be zoichet to the Gula Mitzvah Hashlema. When Mashiach comes, Hashem, Mashiach will shecht the evil inclination. It'll take the evil spirit away from the land, and we will not have bad, we won't even be able to do bad. And of course, every, all, all of our problems will be solved. And of course, by, by learning Hasidus, about learning the secrets of the Torah, we open our, our mind and we can actually fix our soul in a, in a real, proper, true way, not just cover it up and smear it up. We have to be able to get to the core of every problem, fix it up, and, and bring Mashiach now. All the best, Yechiyah to the whole crew.